What's up, everybody? It's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming. And today, guys, I'm bringing you my review on the Save Wizard. So I just bought it about two days ago, and I want to share my thoughts on this product and if it's something that you should invest $50 into buying. So I bought it, and so far, so good. It works. However, there's a couple of issues that I have with the product, and I want to share that information with you guys. So as you guys can see on my desktop, I do own a couple of save editors for PlayStation 3, Game Genie, Brute Force, PS3 Exploder, and yes, I'm waiting for the PlayStation 4 Exploder, which should be coming out, I would say sometime this week at the end or next week, the latest, because on the website it said in two weeks, so I'm waiting just like everybody else, and yes, I did buy it, but if you use Game Genie, for PlayStation 3, it shares the same user interface on the Save Wizard. So if you use Game Genie, it looks identical on the Save Wizard. So let's actually open it up and let me share with you guys on what it looks like. Now I know a couple people on my gaming channel already bought the product and they gave me some insights on the Save Wizard. So I went and bought it myself. However, I did not buy it for the cheat database. I bought it for another reason and I'll explain that in one second. So this hit okay. Now, like I said, this user interface is identical to Game Genie and I'll show you that in one second. But I wanna tell you something before you buy the product. Make sure that you have a game on the list from its cheats. What I mean is that if you don't have a game, right? and you try to go and set up your profile, you need to have one of those games from the cheat database. And then from there, you can set up your profile. If you don't have any game that's compatible with that cheat database, you cannot even set up your profile. So I'm lucky that I had Attack on Titans and I had Resident Evil 7 from Gamefly. I ain't gonna lie, I rented it. Therefore, I was able to extract the save from my PlayStation 4 to my USB, plug it in, and then create my profile for Mr. You Know Who. If I didn't have any game from the cheat database, I would have been fucked right now. I wouldn't even be able to set this shit up. I would have to literally buy, rent, or borrow a game from somebody that's compatible with the cheat database, and then go save the game, and then extract the save and then I'll be able to create the profile. So do keep that in mind because a lot of times they don't tell you that. So you go buy the shit and you're like, I'm ready to set the shit up. You're gonna run into a major problem. So make sure you know that. So as you guys can see, like I said before, it's identical to Game Genie. Uh, game list, if I hit show all, here's all the cheats right here. Now, I do have a problem with the information that's on their website versus the database of cheats. Because on their website, they say they have 104 games. That is absolutely not true. They have about 52 or 54 games. Now, what's happening is that they're including other regions of the same game, which should not count as a new game. All it should be is that it's a same game different region and if you counted the game already it should not be counted again if you make it for three or four different regions so do keep that in mind because on the website it's misleading and it's really only 54 games so as you guys can see i'm scrolling down and it's nothing too crazy now i know the product is new and in some time they would have more cheats however they should not say they have 104 games because that's like saying you have all the triple a title games because guess what you know what game i'm looking for to be on here and that's ghost recon wildland and guess what it's not on here and that's a triple a game and you don't have a cheat for that and i've been out since what april 7th so come on you know and then the next game that's coming out that i'm definitely picking up is injustice 2 and i'm hoping that off the jump they have a cheat for that already listed prior, like a week after the game launch. So it gives people an incentive to want to buy the product. If you don't have triple A titles on here that everybody's playing, then what's the point of buying the same wizard? That is the point is to have the latest cheats available 
for any triple A or any game in general so that people can use. So, as you guys can see, this is pretty much it. Now you go to settings and you can make a backup of your save. I do not have RSS feeds activated because I don't really need it. Uh, deactivate the software. Now just keep in mind that you are allowed to use the same wizard on two different computers. After two, you can't use it no more. And you can have four different profiles on PSN um, linked to your save wizard. So, as you guys can see, I'll hit mines, no big deal. I have my Mr. You Know Who, my PSN ID, and I already set that up. Now, as you guys can see, I do have three empty profiles. So that means that three other people could use my save wizard and I can apply cheats. Now, I will say this for you because I saw that a couple of people online asked me to do their actual save. Now that I have the save wizard and I have three slots, I will rank you guys $10 for 30 days one of these slots. After 30 days, your profile comes off. Now, if you're a good person and don't give me a problem, we probably could negotiate and you can continue using it, but it will cost you. But for everybody that doesn't want to invest the $50, I would be more than happy to rent to you guys a profile and there's only three first come first serve for ten dollars so keep that in the back of your mind so that's pretty much it you go to help sorry guys we don't need this and that's all there is to the save wizard and that's it it's, it's not hard to use so let's go and actually do attack on titans give me one second And when you right click, so you got to double click on the save to have the drop down come down. And you got quick mode. And when you go to quick mode, you can apply your cheats. Which is just like Game Genie. I'll do the first one. Apply. Yes. And it doesn't take long to actually do the save. I haven't experienced any server issues where it timed out or failed. And that's all it is to actually do in quick mode. So... For anybody that wants to rent the other three slots, I will only do quick mode. I'm not going to do advanced mode and figure out hex edits and yada, yada, yada. That's not happening right now. So if you want to rent the other three slots, it's only for quick mode. And whatever cheats is there, that's what I can do. So I hit OK. And I'm going to do it one more time. Right click and advanced mode. I'm just showing this to you guys. The hex edit is nothing crazy. And if you use Game Genie, you've seen this before. So it's good for hex edit if you know where to edit the save to get extra cheats or cheats that's not listed. But this is and pretty I'll much I'm not fucking with later. this right now. Peace. Not that I can't do it. I'm just not fucking with it at this moment. And that's pretty much it. I'm just going to hit close. And that's it for the same wizard. Now I'm gonna open up Game Genie just to show you guys that they pretty much share the same user interface. So close this real quick. Look at this. Yes, my Game Genie still works for PlayStation 3. So I had it for some time, it's all good. The only thing I don't like about the save wizard is that it should just been $49.99 and that's it. Fuck it, two years and what yada yada yada. You buy it, you own it, you gut. So Check this out. Identical user interface. No difference. So if you use Game Genie, you should have a pretty much understanding how to use the save wizard. So as you guys can see, I'm showing you both. Now, the only reason why I bought the save wizard was for one reason. And that's because they're giving out 24 months, which is about two years, for $49.99. And then they keep saying that they're going to go back and charge people $49.99 for one year. So that was my turning point on why I bought the Save Wizard. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have bought the Save Wizard. Two years, $49.99, I get to try it. Within two years, they should have more cheats on their database. So 
why shoot myself in the foot where I can get the product for $49.99 for two years versus paying one year for $49.99. So that is the only reason why I bought the Say Wizard. If it wasn't for that, I don't think I would have bought it because there's not enough cheats that supported for the games that's actually out. And you're missing triple A title games. To me, triple A games should be the most important cheats than everything else that's been out for two to three months. Then you add those in. Now, for Cyber, you know they got a, a, a humongous save database. So, I'm assuming that's taking time to convert the Japanese cheats over to the U.S. cheats. So, that's why it's not as full as what you see on Cyber. Because Cyber got a hell of a lot of cheats. They had a hell of a lot of cheats before it even launched. So, do keep that in mind. Now, I'm hoping the same cheats from Cyber comes over to the Save Wizard and everything is good, everything is great because they Japan get everything first. But at the end of the day, is the Save Wizard worth $49.99? And I'm going to say no. And the only reason why I'm saying no is that because they only have 54 cheats. 54 cheats for $49.99 is not a price that I would want to pay for 54 cheats now like i said i bought it because it wasn't about the cheats it was more or less about the subscription so for anybody that wants to experiment with the save wizard i would say if you don't mind paying 49.99 get it now don't shoot yourself in the foot but if you're getting it for the cheat database don't buy it now wait you know and give it a month or two and come back and see it again and now if it goes from 54 cheats to probably 90 cheats. Then I say go and invest the $50. Now, I will be doing the one for the PlayStation 4 Explorer. As soon as I get my hands on it, I already bought it. And I will see if it actually reassigns the saves as advertised. But from right now, I would say hold off on the save wizard and just wait. Give it till like late June. And they come back, and if they got more, and it's something that you really, really, really like, invest the forty nine ninety nine. But as always, it's Mister You Know Who from XMI Gaming. Thank you guys for supporting my channel. Thank you guys for watching my videos, and let me know what you think about the Save Wizard, and if it's something that you guys would actually want to buy, and the reason you will want to buy it. Um, as always, thank you and peace.